Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update this channel daily. If you like this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Cosmograph Daytona, six-digit reference in 18-karat yellow gold. This is the latest scrambled serial number variant with a combination of full gold bracelet, full gold case and a dial to pop your eyes out of your skull. This is a combination of aesthetic and mechanical virtuosity. The fit is excellent. Rolex is one of the companies that has always held the line on size. It never released a full line of truly oversized watches and always kept the Daytona, the Sub, the GMT nicely constrained within the realistic bounds of human anatomy. 40 millimeters across the round of the case and a reasonable 12.2 millimeters thick. It'll slide underneath any dress cuff. Lug to lug, you can measure this one at 47.5 millimeters, and across the wrist with the end links of the bracelet, it's still a very manageable 51. Wear this watch with confidence on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. The bracelet is a wonderfully substantial piece. A generation ago, Rolex Platinum bracelets felt like this gold bracelet feels today. That's how robust it is. Solid end links, solid center links, plenty of material, polish and satin, polished flanks, Removable links fixed by screws and a clasp that is milled out from the solid. Nicely executed, straight through polish, satin flanks, polished shoulders, and internally you can see that there's a hook and beak system that allows it to snap into place and then be clamshell locked. It's a two-stage locking mechanism. The timepiece does feature Rolex's 5mm Easy Link tool-free adjustment. It's the equivalent of adding or removing one sizable link. And I should also add, because it's rarely mentioned, there are a number of alternative anchoring points inside the clasp. So with a strap tool, you can fine-tune the fit even more. Easy Link, removable links, and the anchoring points give you many options. Jumping back to the case, it is a wonderfully traditional Rolex case. It has a handsome, rounded flank, gorgeous compound curves. It's very satisfying, and it's anything but brutal. It doesn't feel like the industrial sports watch style cases that have overtaken the Explorer II, the GMT, the Sub, and the Sea Dwellers. This feels almost like a dress watch, and it's elegant and wearable for it. The bezel, calibrated to units per hour, diplomatically allowing you to use system international or imperial units, depending on your locality and preference. But the watch is inspired by the 24-hour race at Daytona Speedway in Florida. Don't mistake it for the Daytona 500. That's NASCAR. The 24 hours of Daytona is Le Mans-style sports cars. And of course, a steel Daytona or a steel gold Daytona is the winning driver's gift. So you're going to wear a watch that's better than the winning race car driver at Daytona. He doesn't get full gold. You'll also note gold on the dial, the Rolex Coronet the indices, as well as the hands, all gold, the better to resist tarnish and oxidation over time. The dial base is a matte black with dramatic contrast by virtue of the tone-on-tone -tone registers, incredibly handsome with a matte golden hue atop the black base, and a few shocks of red. You can see the hash marks outboard are calibrated. Let me see how close I can get, afford ourselves a bit more light and focus in. You can see the hash marks outboard on the dial are calibrated in red. So this one with a handsome four-tone dial, white, gold, black, and red. There's a block of text at 12 o'clock, but those of us who love Rolex are already familiar with that practice, and we've come to accommodate it underneath the hood, we may say, to use our automotive ter terminology. Rolex Caliber 4130, 44 joules, 3-day power reserve, bi-directional automatic winding, 28.8 beat rate, hacking seconds, COSC certified chronometer, and thanks to a Rolex trip lock screw down crown and chronograph pushers to match. The watch is rated 100 meters water resistant, but most 100 meter Rolex watches have a twin lock crown. I think 100 meters is a conservative rating for this watch. Overcoil hairspring to allow it to keep excellent time in any orientation with respect to gravity. The watch gets the chronometer certificate from the COSC. Rolex then cases that movement up and tests it to beyond chronometer standards. Minus two plus two seconds a day or better. That's what superlative chronometer means in the year 2018. A full balance bridge with a free sprung balance means this 44 joule in-house caliber is also robustly shock resistant. And thanks to a vertical clutch system, you have both smooth engagement to the chronograph without any jump or stagger and the ability to leave the chronograph running without endangering the movement. Thanks to the column wheel function selector, you have a crisp action, bolt-like, reminiscent of a rifle. See this one and make it yours on the watch box. Full gold Rolex Daytona.